Hey, big chief. Hey, good morning, Rebels. Here goes Leo. Uh, it's um, September 14th, Thursday. And uh, definitely weather has changed to, to much of a fall-like weather. Things have cooled down quite a bit. And we got some decent rain and, you know, it's nice. Other than what it really means is that uh, winter is, is coming up and I try not to use the W word in, until I have to. Anyways, a month ago, almost exactly a month ago, I sowed a bunch of uh, lettuce seeds in the um, area that I had harvested garlic. I also had a big uh, patch of uh, self-sown cucumbers that grew in that area. And as those played out, I wanted to get some lettuce in uh, so I can have some nice fall lettuce. Well, right as I planted that in August, was the start of about a oh about a three week <coughs> excuse me um hot spell where we were in the upper 80s and 90s and dry and you know that's kind of kind of hard on lettuce so i threw up the shade cloth uh on the hoops uh to give it some protection so we're gonna we're gonna take a peek in here i'm gonna pull it back i think i'm gonna remove the shade cloth entirely and uh, we'll take a look at what's going on. I know just peeking in there, I do have uh, quite a bit of lettuce that came up. Um, and I also got about a gajillion uh, self-sown dill and some tomatoes out of my signature chunky compost. So let's, uh, I'll pull this back and we'll take a look. Let's see if I can. Yeah, I just use these simple clips. I've got, to, I've got a couple here and here. And ta-da. So Pull this back a little bit more. So yeah, you can see, I mean, I, ha I have lettuce coming up and lettuce here and this nice little colorful lettuce here. And you can see all the tomatoes and dill that have popped up in there. So I don't, I don't want to deal with all that uh, dill and tomato. So I'm going to weed that out. There's a few uh, flavors of lettuce I can tell that did not sprout. Um, you know, lettuce doesn't like to sprout when it's real hot. So even though the shade was protecting it, uh, you know, the ground temperatures were still real hot. So let me um, weed this up a little bit and uh, sow a few more seeds. And uh, we'll take a peek at that. And uh, a couple other things I want to share with you. Hold on. All right, I got uh, all the... Um, dill and the crazy tomatoes pulled up and you can see I just and then I tucked in some more seeds you know I filled in some some of these blank spaces and then I watered it that's why this lettuce is laying down but that brings me to another thought <coughs> excuse me that just leaving the shade cloth completely off is probably not a good idea to just subject it to the sun so I had the um shade cloth doubled over it's a 40 percent shade cloth doubled over is that 80 percent i don't know but i'm going to go ahead and put it back on just one layer just to give this stuff a break from the direct sun i also uh, planted some radish right in here pulled some of the beans back and um, made some room for some radish so let me put the shade cloth back on uh, I'll show you what that looks like, and then uh, we'll have a final chat. Okay, yeah, back uh, under cover, just uh, one layer with the shade cloth, and yeah, feeling the um, you know the sun beat down, you know, just like you got to harden your plants off um, in the spring. Um, I think this was the right decision, and uh, I'm confident that the lettuce will be happy. Uh, I sowed quite a bit of, of seeds in there. I tucked in in the um, empty spaces, and then I had a couple bags that 
you know, we're almost out of seeds, so I just broadcast them around and, and uh, we'll let them have their way if they're so inclined. Just a couple final thoughts. This is some of the beans that I had planted after I harvest the garlic. Had quite a few good harvests out of, out of them, and now I'm just letting them go so that they'll dry out. Still got plenty of time, got a whole month before I gotta worry about them getting mildewy or anything. Um, let them dry out, and that becomes my, um, my seed stock for next year. Uh, if you remember right, this is uh, squash I planted late, and I got a zucchini and a yellow squash, and, and they're doing fine. I've been picking, picking a few squash, getting a, getting a nice little dinner out of them. You know, there's a good one. This late in the season, I think I avoided the, um, the vine borer. The, uh, the squash bug is still around, but I, ha I haven't seen hardly any of them uh, this year at all. So I'm, I'm not worried about that being a problem. Really only have about a month more of that. Here's another thing I want to share with you, and I've showed you this a few times. This tomato right here, this is a self-sown tomato out of my chunky compost. And I've done virtually little, little care for it. And it's producing great and giving me some huge tomatoes, ginormous tomatoes. See down here? Look at these good girls, boys and girls. And it's shown just now, starting to show a few signs of the leaf spot or the blight that we get. And you know, my whole cucumber crop this year was out of my chunky compost. And I've gotten other things uh, out of my self-sown stuff. So I'm, I'm contemplating one of these years, and maybe it'll be next season, is taking half of one of these beds and spreading out my chunky compost. And it's gonna have tomatoes in it, it's gonna have cucumbers in it, it's gonna have green beans in it, it's gonna have lettuce and radish and carrot seeds, all that's gonna be inside there. So I've, I'm contemplating just um, throwing it out and letting grow, letting whatever grows in that bed have its way. Just thin it out enough so that the plants that I decide are the healthiest can have enough room and um and you know see how it does because you know we know any of us that do any composting or any of us that you know if you have your garden and you let some things just go uh too big you know on the vine and fall in your garden you get great starts out of it the next season uh, i often say the magic is in the seed and it knows what to do so so maybe it's time to really test that theory and uh, try half of one of these beds and see what it does. Why don't you leave me a comment uh, in the comments and uh, let me know what you, th what you think of that and if that's something you'd like to see. Anyways, wanted to show you where we're at with this lettuce bed. I'm happy with the lettuce bed and uh, I'm confident that I'll be harvesting here in a, in a few weeks time and I'll probably at some point put the row cover over there and then maybe even the greenhouse poly and uh, try and keep it going oh you know up into December and I'm not going to try and grow it all year like I did last year but keep it going for quite some time anyways and as usual I'm so grateful that you're here hanging out with me uh, if you like it and you haven't subscribed yet, please uh, consider it. Thanks for watching.